I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question on related rate of change which I have seen in AP calculus and even IITJ. The question here is one end of a rope is tied to a box the other end is passed over a pulley 5 meter above the floor and tied at a level 1 meter above the floor to the back of a truck. If the rope is tied and the truck moves at 0.5 meters per second, how fast is the box rising when the truck is 3 meters from the plump line through the pulley? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, copy the question and then look into my suggestions. Now here is a diagram which helps you to understand the situation. Now here this is the truck where the rope has been tied one meter above the floor. And this pulley is five meters above the floor. So if I extend this, kind of, let's, let's do this. We do make a right triangle here. And we'll actually uh, form equations using this right triangle. So let's say this part of the rope is Z. And at any time, let the height of this box be Y. Is it okay? Uh, you will notice that this pulley is 5 meters above the ground. This is 1. And therefore, uh, this height, if I look into the equation for hypotenuse, I could always write z square as equal to uh, this distance x square plus 4 square. Since this is 5 and this is 1, right? This is 1. So the whole thing is 5 minus 4. So you can clearly see that this length is 4. Is it okay? So z square is x square plus 4 square is one of your equations, uh, which I could write here clearly as z square equals to x square plus 16. Now, what do we need to find? How fast is the box rising? So I've taken this height as y. We need to find what is dy dt. How fast is the box rising? When the truck is 3 meter, when, when, when x is equal to 3. When truck is 3 meter from the plumb line, that's your line. Is it okay? 3 meters. So if x is equals to 3, what is z? Let's calculate this out also. So z equals to uh, 3 square plus 16. Uh, let's say z square equals to this. So z is equals to, which is 9 plus 16 is 25. So z is 5. Is it okay? Uh, square root of this. Let me write like this. 25 and z equals to 5. So the default value of z, I mean, is that. Okay, now how do we go about? How do we get equation in terms of y? That's kind of critical to understand. Now, we can get this equation of y by knowing the fact that this row length is fixed. Perfect. Whether the truck is in the initial position or wherever, this length is fixed. Is it okay? So we can say length of this rope is actually z plus 5 minus y. You get the point. So we have related y with our with our terms. That's critical. Where L is constant. Where L is constant. Do you understand the idea? So that gives you the, the equation. And now what we can do is we can actually isolate Z and substitute in our equation to get equation in L and X. So we could write from here Z is equal to L plus y minus 5. Does it make sense to you? So this is this is a very critical step right there which is going to help us solve the equation. And what is the equation now for us? We'll replace this z by L, minus, L plus 5 minus y. So let me rewrite this as L plus 5 minus y 
uh, square is equals to x square plus 16. Correct? I'll rewrite this on the right side and then we'll further solve. So how did we derive this equation? It's very clear to you. Now let's work on this. So we have L plus y minus 5 whole square equals to x square plus 16. To find the rate of change with respect to time, let's find the derivative with respect to time. So we'll differentiate with respect to time on both these sides. So we get 2 times L plus y minus 5. L is constant. So we get dy dt equals to 2x dx dt. 16 is constant. Perfect. So we can now cancel, simplify this a bit. So we get this portion. We want dy dt. So let's isolate dy dt. Or we can just keep it like this. We want to find what dy dt is when x is equal to 3. So if x is equal to 3, we know z is equal to 5. But what is L? We don't know. But anyway, what you really know is, is this term. L plus 5 minus, L plus y minus 5 is z, right? So this term is z. So, so basically the equation here is, z times dy dt equals to x times dx dt. You understand that part? Now we can find dy dt, right? So let's find dy dt when x is equal to 3. So when x equals to 3, we know z is 5. z equals to 5. So let's substitute these values, right? So this is what we are going to find. So we are going to substitute 5 for z. So we have 5 times dy dt equals to x is 3 times dx dt. And dx dt is speed with which the truck is moving, right? So which is 0 0.5 meters per second. I should have written right there. dx dt is equals to 0 0.5 or half meters per second, right? That is given to us. So which is, let me write in fractions, half, it's better. So we get from here that dy dt is equal to 3 times 3 over 5 times half or 3 over 10. Perfect. So that becomes our answer. So it is, so the answer here is <clears throat> how fast the box is rising? Box is rising. At the rate of 0 0.3 meters per second. Is it okay? When x equals to 3. Correct? So that is how such questions can be answered. So the trick here was to realize that the length of the rope is fixed and that helps you to give the equation. Feel free to make your suggestions if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. And I hope that really helps you to understand how to formulate equations and do such questions. Thank you and all the best.